Oh my goodness, sisters and brothers, this is God's gift. It's May 30th, 2017. And I went back on some of my notes on stuff and wow. You know, the Lord has been showing me June 3rd and then I had this video I put up and it was what's up with three, number threes everywhere. And throughout this video, God was showing me now, now that I have eyes to see what he was saying, he was speaking to us about Pentecost, June 3rd. Listen to this video. Hi, sisters and brothers. This is God's gift. Um, I'm working on some things I think the Lord is showing me. And again, my daughter has done something that really made me understand that the Lord has been working on me for a very long time on some things. Longer than I thought. When I was a child, I had... Um, it was like it was real. I don't know if it was a vision. I don't know, but it was it was like real. Um, I I always wanted to have like, you know, like a little animal, and I remember a knock at my bedroom door, and I opened it up, and there was these little baby monkeys. I know this sounds crazy, but this is what happened. These little baby monkeys, and I picked them up and I brought them in. And all my life, I wanted to have kids. Well, I was told I couldn't have kids. And I lost one. Um, I had my two kids, and then I lost one. And my daughter gave me this for Mother's Day. It says, Happy Mother's Day. And there's three monkeys on it. And notice this little one here, barely peeking out. I just thought this was the most amazing thing. But I'm working on something from the last video, the one that um, Gigi um, did the conference call on with me and John uh, from Watchmen for that great day. And it's like the Lord is urging me to check into some things. And I'm going to try and share everything with you guys. And I'm going to do the best that I can. There's several things that are happening. When I saw. Um, those things in the sky. The first thing I saw was an eagle. The second one that I saw was a sheep's head. And the third one that I saw was the number three in the sky. So what Honestly, I mean, I should have got it right then and there. I mean, we're talking the eagle, the sheep, and a number three. But watch this. The Lord is showing me on that is that the eagle is coming to take the sheep. But I don't understand what the three represents yet, whether it be the three, third watch hour, because he's having me look up these watch times, and I found out so much information, sisters and brothers. It's just amazing. But then I saw the truck with the shin on it. It's that W that um, represents, um, it's a Jewish letter, and it means my brother is dawn, or my brother of the dawn, which also brings me into the watch times and i'll get into that too but with the number threes here's some things that i've come across there's three disciples that went with jesus right before his crucifixion to the garden where he um told them to stay there he was going to the father to pray so there was three disciples three times they fell asleep three times jesus prayed three times peter denied jesus Three times, Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? Guys, are you getting it yet? Do you think the Lord was really working on me about June 3rd? <laughs> Three times the clock crowed. It was on the third watch, and it was between midnight and 3 a.m. Sisters and brothers, I think this is our timing. Then... The third day of the week is Tuesday. Tuesday, <clears throat> excuse me, Tuesday is a very popular Jewish day to get married. That is their, their favorite time of the week is Tuesday, the third day. Then the 33rd day of Omer is, is the extremely popular, it is the day to get married because during Omer it's considered a time of mourning, it's a it's a smaller holiday, but it represents, you know, a time of mourning. And through 
uh, the Talmud, it talks about this uh, plague that hit and thousands of ra uh, this rabbi's students, thousands of them died during this plague. But on the 33rd day, this plague supposedly, I, I can't verify this, but this is what I've been reading. Uh, on the 33rd day, the plague stopped. Now, the 33rd... Wasn't Jesus around that age when he went up? Um, counting of the Omer is called Lag B Omer. And what that is, it's, it's 49 day between Passover and Shavuot. So, I mean, I'm just getting some things here to tell you. And we are on our 49th day on the 2nd. It'll be the 49th going into the 50th day for Pentecost. Which is Saturday. About. So then, um, now, uh, Brother Steve Fletcher uh, brought up a thing about Trump in his travels. What he's going to do, he's going to meet with three major religions. I think that's another telltale sign there, sisters and brothers. Oh, my goodness. This was so, I mean, he could have hit me in the head and I still wouldn't have got it then. Saudi Arabia. He's going to Israel and he's going to Rome to meet uh, the Pope. Now, these three times, um, I noticed that the 19th, he's going to visit Saudi Arabia, but three days later, he's going to Israel. Three days. Um, along with the three signs I saw in the sky. And Sister... Uh, Terry Toplin. Uh, Sorry, Terry. I just put up the, a video. Um, Sorry, my, I had a... Um, Terry Toplin just put up a video, and it was um, titled, but it has these three numbers, 555 after it. Hold on one second, sisters and brothers. Do you see that? It's 555 views, sisters and brothers. I mean, I'm like blown away. I was over at my mom and dad's yesterday, and, the, and I looked at the clock, and I said, it's 555. They didn't understand it, but I did. And I went to computer school, and I know that that is a chip that is a timer in all um, digital clocks. It's, it's called the 555 timer. And I just thought that all these things together was like really something that the Lord is showing us. Um, I'm going to see if uh, the three of us can do another conference call because the Lord is still trying to lead us to this three. What is this three days, uh, 72 hours? Um, I don't know, but it's very important. The Lord is, is continuing to show me things. And I, I'm going to find out because the Lord does not give you all these things for nothing. So, sisters and brothers, I pray that you're blessed. I'm going to do a quick video also on some of the things I found out with the, um, the watch time. So, I pray that you're blessed. God bless you, all you mothers. Have, I pray that you're having a happy Mother's Day. And I pray that... All right, sisters and brothers, I made my point. <clears throat> the Lord Jesus Christ is really pouring it on me, and I didn't even realize it. So, thank God wisdom hit me in the head, but... Um, like I said, the Lord's been telling me June 3rd, June 3rd, June 3rd, and now that we're up here at this time, and I'm looking back on these videos, boy, I wish I, um, <laughs> I wish I would have known then what I know now so I could warn more people, but we're here, and I pray that you're blessed. God has really shown us things. Sisters and brothers, be ready. It's the, it's the only commandment. It's the fourth commandment that the Lord says, remember my commandment. This is the father who has given us these commandments. Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day. He said, make it. It's his holy consecrated day. So, you know, the father set this day aside as a holy day. And I never knew ever since I was little and had that vision or whatever it was with those monkeys. I think he was showing me back then bits and pieces of, of where we're at right now. Um, I pray that you're blessed. I love you all. Let this be a blessing and an understanding to you all. This is God's gift.
and I will see you all in the air. Love you.